Hello friends, welcome back to Technique and today we will be doing a quick speed test comparison of newly launched iQ Z7 Pro with again one of the really good devices in the segment, the OnePlus Nord CE3. So these are two devices around the 25,000 price segment. Strictly speaking, the OnePlus Nord CE3 uh, is slightly above the 25,000 price segment but uh, with offers you can get it as low as 24999 while the iQ uh, Z7 Pro is uh, priced below the 25,000 price segment. Now both of the, these devices have really good hardware and both offers great experience too. So let's see which of these performs faster in the speed test comparison. We'll also be doing the Antutu benchmark score, the memory management test and the Geekbench test along with the network uh, speed as well. So let's begin. So before that if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. So we have the two devices with us. Uh, the iQOO Z7 Pro with the Dimensity 7 2.0 octa-core processor while we have the oneplus nord ce3 with the snapdragon 782g octa-core processor so we'll just take uh, the about phone on both the devices so about phone you can see here oneplus nord ce3 qualcomm snapdragon 782g octa-core processor dimensity 7200 both have uh, uh, around uh, uh, the android 13 version now the differentiating aspect is uh, the uh, the ui we have oxygen os 13.1 while we have the fun touch os uh, 13 so that's one of the differentiating aspect between these two devices so let's uh, go into the speed test of these two devices so uh, you can see here uh, we'll just check the network connections as well so both are connected to the same wi-fi uh, network and both are in airplane mode as well so almost uh, similar uh, uh, conditions were set for both the devices so let's just go to the background app so we'll just close uh, all the apps uh, from the background so there you go and uh, let's just close all the apps uh, here as well so there you go so all the apps are uh, cleared from the background so both the devices are in same state and connected to the same wi-fi network as well so let's see which of these performs faster and which of these has better memory management as well so let's open asphalt 9 first so let's see uh, the ga game which is really popular which of uh, these devices opens the game faster So you can see here it was slightly faster on the iQ uh, Z7 Pro. So there you go. iQ Z7 Pro was slightly faster here. Next is uh, Call of Duty Mobile. Let's see which opens this game faster. So OnePlus has taken a slight lead here. Let's see which uh, opens faster. In fact, OnePlus has opened it faster. So there is a slight difference here. So two games, one was faster on the iQ, the other one was faster on the uh, OnePlus. Let's go to the Play Store. Again, OnePlus was faster. Chrome browser. Again, you can see here OnePlus is faster. Facebook. Again, OnePlus is slightly faster. Twitter. Again, you can see here OnePlus is slightly faster. Instagram. Again, OnePlus is slightly faster. Spotify. You can see here OnePlus is slightly faster here. Amazon. Once again, OnePlus is slightly faster. Flipkart. Again, uh, OnePlus is faster. File Manager. Again, OnePlus has taken the lead. Settings. Once again, OnePlus is faster. YouTube. Again, OnePlus. Gmail. OnePlus camera again OnePlus so OnePlus is taken uh, the almost uh, every app OnePlus is faster here so once again maps you can see here OnePlus is faster so what we could figure out from this test is that OnePlus optimization is pretty good actually both the processors are quite similar in terms of even attitude score and performance but the optimization seems to be slightly better on the OnePlus so that's the uh, speed so let's open the apps in the reverse order so Let's see the memory management of these two devices. So, so far all the apps are available in the memory. So there you go. So right now all the apps are kept in the memory on both the devices. So here you can see here uh, Instagram has been reloaded. Twitter has been reloaded. Facebook is available. Chrome again uh, slightly uh, reloaded. Play Store is available. Let's go to the games. Games again. Uh, uh, 
uh, you can see here it is reloaded on the IQ uh, Z7 Pro so let's wait for just to load and uh, there you go and finally asphalt 9 so once again you can see here asphalt 9 is available in the memory so memory management definitely is uh, better on uh, the oneplus and even the app loading time also faster on the oneplus but again there is a price difference this is slightly above 25 this is slightly below 25,000. so again price uh, de variation is de definitely there now next uh, is uh, the network so here we have uh, uh, the network uh, we'll see the wi-fi network uh, connection so you can see here both are connected to the same uh, Wi-Fi network and let's see uh, which uh, is faster or if there is any difference ideally there shouldn't be any difference because both the devices are equally good so we, here you can see here almost same values there is absolutely no difference here uh, almost similar values we have got now let's go to the anti to benchmark so let's see uh, how the benchmark is now here you can see here 6 lakh 90 thousand 6 lakh 50 thousand but now there is one uh, major difference here now this is ufs uh, 3.1 storage while this is ufs 2.2 storage that is uh, one major difference in terms of uh, speed also uh, apps are opening faster uh, because of the read write as well that is again you can actually see the storage test so storage test ufs 3.1 and uh, ufs 2.2 that um, definitely makes a difference here in terms of storage test now let's go to the Geekbench test and uh, let's uh, run this test and see how good the performance is on these two devices. So now we have uh, the Geekbench uh, 6 results. Uh, so not much of difference similar to the Antitude score 1154, 1106, 2604, 2670. So not much of a difference here uh, in terms of the single core and the multi core scores. So that's the uh, the benchmark scores of these two devices. So here you can see here both the devices are pretty good. Uh, the major differentiating aspect I would say is the UFS uh, storage uh, speed, uh, the UFS 3.1 versus UFS 2.2. But again, prices are also lesser. This is below 25,000 but this is slightly about 25k so that is the speed test comparison of the uh, iq z7 pro uh, and the oneplus nord ce3 hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day